Hello Year 7, I hope you are all well. Um, so today's lesson is going to be looking at how we solve um, problems using our flowcharts or our algorithms. Now this quote I think is really important to kind of get your head around. So coding is today's language of creativity. All our children deserve a chance to become creators instead of consumers of computer science. So what this means is um, that computer science gives you the opportunity to be creative and it may not seem like a creative subject on, on the outset but um, a lot of what we use uh, today, for example, YouTube and uh, WhatsApp and Instagram and all those services that you are uh, familiar with, they start off with someone seeing a problem in the world and thinking, you know what, I think I've got an idea for this, and then using computer science to create a solution. So computer science is not programming, it's how can we solve problems? with our programming okay so that's the subtle shift i'm currently kind of giving you to help you understand uh, what computer science truly is so let's crack on so we're going to learn how to uh, create an algorithm how to create flowcharts to solve problems so what do these flowchart symbols mean okay so i'm going to pause for a second have a think first okay let's see if you're right in your thinking so the first one here is a start stop so we use this at the start and the end of our flowcharts this one here is for making a choice or a decision okay so it's going to be a question such as do you want milk in your tea and the final one is an action something that we do for example get a cup or something along those lines so when we use decisions in flowcharts okay um it's important to remember how to lay things out now, when we have a question in uh, flowcharts and in computer science in general, we try and phrase it as a yes, no, or more accurately, a true false answer. So in this example, we're asking the question, do you want milk? We're not asking how much milk you want or um, you know, what do you want with your tea, which are more open questions and not yes, no questions. We're asking a very specific yes, no. Do you want it? Yes or no. Okay. So with a decision box, we'll have a yes, no question, and there'll be two options coming out of it, yes and no. So if the answer is yes, we'll do one thing, which in this case is add milk. Otherwise, we stir the tea. And notice that we have got a line going from the add milk over to stir tea. So basically, once we've added the milk, we want to continue on with the rest of the, with the, rest of the algorithm, the okay, rest of the flowcharts, which is why there's an arrow going backwards. So top tips when you're drawing these flowcharts, so you're gonna have a practice at doing some again, please, please, please do use a ruler and pencil, okay? I can't stress that enough because a, without a ruler and pencil, your flowcharts will look messy, okay? Um, and I'm fully aware of the irony of me drawing a really um, scrappy line there, but I'm using a trackpad. It's really hard to do a straight line on a trackpad, uh, but I want you to use ruler and pencil, please, ladies and gentlemen, okay? Um, Please only put one thing in one box, okay? So don't, for example, have put the kettle on, switch the kettle on, uh, pour water into the cup as one box, okay? They should be three separate boxes, okay? So one thing, one box. And when you do a diamond shape, when you have a question or decision, make sure there's always two lines, okay? Two lines coming out of it, okay? Without those two lines, it is incorrect. When I assess you on this stuff in your first ever computer science assessment, which will include flowcharts, ladies and gentlemen, I'll be looking for those. And I will take marks away if you don't use a rule and pencil, and I'll take marks away if you don't do your decision boxes correctly. Those are the two kind of key things I'm looking for, other than obviously uh, make sure things are in the right order. So let's move on. So have a look at the, this flowchart. What's wrong with it? What, what, what mistake, what top tip have I not followed? Hopefully you've noticed that there's more than one instruction in this box here. Okay, so we're getting a, tea, a cup, put a tea in a bag and pour water over it, okay? That's three things, isn't it? Okay, and I can identify that really easily because it's got a comma, okay? So it's kind of like a list of stuff. Those should be in three separate boxes, okay? That is really important in computer science because ultimately what will happen is this will eventually 
if this was a real problem to get turned into code and code is written line by line okay so we can't just simply have a box which does million one things it doesn't work that way so we have to get used to breaking things down step by step by step so this is what it should look like okay so you get a cup put tea in bag pour the water so there's kind of three things in this one box and this is obviously the correct way of doing it okay my, my brilliant tip there ladies and gentlemen What's wrong with this one? Okay, pause again, have a think. Well, there's actually quite a few things wrong with this. Now, first of all, um, I've got a question. What do you want to drink? Make coffee, make tea. Now, that question is not a yes, no question, straight off the bat, so that's wrong. Okay, so it's not a yes, no question. That's absolutely not allowed. Second is, it's using the wrong shape. Okay, the shape should be the diamond. And finally, there should be annotations on the lines, like yes, no, um, to make it nice and clear which way we can go. So this is completely wrong, okay, absolutely wrong. So let's see the correct version of it. Okay, so you can see I phrase my questions yes, no. Now, if I'm asking a question, do you want tea or coffee? Um, well, there's only two options there, isn't it? So if I said I want coffee, then I can't want tea. If I say I don't want coffee, then I must want tea. Okay, so that's the way I've structured this. Now I'm fully aware you could have other things like hot chocolate, but for now we're making a choice between two drinks only. Okay, just to keep things simple. So do you want coffee? Yes. Add coffee to the cup. No. Put a tea bag in the cup. Okay. So there is the diamond shape, which is correct, which is um, important. We have a yes/no question, which is important. And finally, I write on the lines and not in their own little box. Um, yes, no. So please don't, because uh, I see this a lot, put these in boxes. Okay, and certainly don't do this. Okay, don't uh, do that. That is wrong. Okay, um, I won't, um, you won't get four marks, but I won't mark you down too much for making that mistake, but um, it's just not correct. Okay, so it should be like this side, not this side. So not that side. Okay. I've already sent you out, ladies and gentlemen, a worksheet which I would like you to have a go at. Okay, that'll be in your class charts. What I'd like you to do, there are three problems that you need to solve. Okay, I want you to um, write out a flowchart. Now, ideally, I'd like you to do this on paper and either take a photo of it or bring it into your next lesson, please. Okay, I don't mind which. Okay, um, ideally, I'd like you to take a photo of it and send it to me just so I can mark off you've done your remote work. Um, if you want to do this on the computer and you're confident you can draw a flowchart on the computer, maybe using PowerPoint, something like that, you can do that. I will warn you, though, it will take you longer to do it on the computer. Um, it may look neater, but it will take you a lot longer. Okay, and trust me on that one. I have drawn a lot of flowcharts on the computer. It takes a while to actually do it. Okay, on paper is much, much, much faster. And please, 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 don't forget pencil and ruler. Okay, absolutely crucial. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is the flowchart you will see. So, it starts off with a wonderful picture of Homer uh, thinking, you know, why not? Um, this is part of the knowledge organizer, okay? And the reason I've included it is just to remind you a little bit about what we've been learning, okay? So I've got my um, key terms here, okay? What an algorithm is, flowchart. Don't worry about define and conquer. This is something we will look at, um, at another time, okay? So ignore that bit. I've got my flowchart symbols to remind you what they should look like, okay? I've also got an example of how you lay out your questions, okay? Here we've got two questions. Do you want strawberry syrup and do you want to add sprinkles? As you can see, um, we have got um, it laid out correctly. So this is just an example, ladies and gentlemen, to help you. The questions themselves are on the next page, okay? So there are um, three questions, okay? And you've got to uh, create a flowchart for each of them, okay? So this is a little bit more tricky than before because I'm telling you exactly what you need to put in. So the first one, you need to do that. Notice that it says ask, okay? When it says ask if they want whole milk or skim milk, you need to make sure that's a question and it must be a yes, no question. Here, I've got another one and I've started the flowchart off for you, so you need to finish it off. Um, 
Notice that this question doesn't tell you as much, so you have to think about it a bit more carefully. And the last one is probably the toughest. Um, here we've got an algorithm for a player in a computer game. Okay, So if the key, left key is pressed, then we move left. So you need to make sure that you have a question, a decision for this one, Okay, and um, you then do an action. So if the question's uh, left key is pressed, we'll go either left or right, and then we can perform the action.